Hello, hello. Going to paint a little dog for you tonight on a six by six panel. Um, I sketched him on a while back and as you can see it's kind of smudged. I actually took it on my trip with me this week. I thought I might do a YouTube video while I was there but it didn't happen. So we're going to work on it now. So we'll start off with the darkest darks that I see. Uh, I'll show you the photo here. Cute little beagle. It's not the best resolution, but it's the pose that I liked. But I do have uh, a better image that shows the eyes that I can refer to. This is going to be a gift for someone that um, I feel is really deserving of it. Has had a lot of health struggles in her life. All right, so we're mixing up some blue, some brown, and like a lot of times, even though I don't typically have black on here, I do put it out for my pet portraits, so, but I would never use it straight. I'm going to put out a little bit of the Gamsol solvent-free fluid. I've never used that in my pet portraits, but I've been using it in my paintings. So. Just got back last night from Brookville, Indiana. Went and painted there for three days, uh, a plein air trip. So I did uh, five paintings total, four that I liked. The last one I got home and wiped it off <laughs> after I looked at it. And the four are pretty good. I should have maybe carried them in here. Um, might tweak them just a little. I typically finish my plein air on location. A lot of people like get started and they go home and work on them, but you know, they're plein air and I like that about them. I like that they're fresh and... All right, so we'll place in the eyes. Just very dark for now. Again, we're going after all the darks that we see. I could thin this a little bit. Let me get a little bit of this solvent on here and we won't have to push so hard to get it in there maybe. Again, my sketch is a little bit smudged, so. I like my darks a little thinner, so. Cute dog, isn't it? So I, on my trip, I tried to put into effect a lot of the things that I learned in my workshop. I um, really took a lot more time on my sketch everywhere I went. I um, used some of this medium. I tried to think a lot about my brush strokes. We're not doing that tonight. We're just painting this like I normally do. But uh, I tried to do, you know, a lot of dry brushing. Of course, there's no tone on here either, so we've got to cover this. This is white. I put the bright uh, acrylic washes on my canvases that I took there, so I didn't try to get full coverage. I didn't want to get full coverage. You know, I wanted to show off the bright underpainting. I say it over and over, but it's kind of this is kind of like a, a puzzle. I just uh, trying to block in the shapes that I see. If you happen to see this, Aaron, before I tell you about it, after he dries really well and we get it sprayed, I'll send it off to you. Right now I'm not busy with commissions, so I thought this was a good time to get this done. Hopefully they'll start rolling in soon. I uh, told people mid-November for a cutoff date, so 
I just did that show a couple weekends ago and I passed out a, a lot of cards, so hopefully I'll get a lot of commissions this year. And I've got you pretty much right in front of it, which makes it a little trickier for me to paint, um, but I'm trying to give you a better view of it. I may have to even move this computer. I'm going to be painting on it otherwise. Got cold here today. Definitely fall like. I made taco soup for dinner. Seemed like the perfect night for that. Um, I was glad I came back yesterday and not today because we had we were there Tuesday Wednesday and part of Thursday and Tuesday and Wednesday were just beautiful days once the fog lifted and everything um, <clears throat> they uh, we'd stay together quite a bit but people spread out and paint what they want but uh, we went day two we went down to this enormous flea market that's goes on in that area that I'd never been to, but I guess it's kind of famous. And uh, <laughs> they wanted to go early, so it was so foggy you could hardly see. And it was cold and wet, and we got down there, and uh, I just, you know, nothing really inspired me. I mean, everything's moving. If you're going to paint a pile of pumpkins, they could potentially sell, and uh, I walked around a while. I couldn't even see very well for all the fog. I'm sure if I'd have stayed a long time till it lifted, I could have probably gotten some great reference photos to paint later on. But I ended up going back to town and setting up and painting a house, which I love architecture. There wasn't even any great buildings. They were newer buildings and lots of people and lots of stuff. But it's an enormous thing, I think, that goes on there once a month, I think. So, so it was funny because there were quite a few of us, seven or eight, but only one gal stayed there to paint, and she painted a hillside. She didn't even paint <laughs> anything in the flea market, so that was kind of a bust, but that happens. But there was a pretty park um, in, in town where we met the first day, and a Second day we went out to a levee. It was hot and full sun, but we painted out there. Okay, I've gotten it a little, I'm pulling it a little more brown now. gotten into the transparent red oxide a little more. And I may have to cut into there a little bit. Hey, I wonder how my little rubber squeegee thing would work. This is one of the things she used in the workshop, and I've just recently started, I took it with me for my trip, and uh, she used it for her underpainting, and she used it during her painting process, and I was trying to create a negative space there. Pretty dog, black and white, and... Uh, a beautiful kind of sienna color. Again, this is not the best photo that I chose, but I like the position, so.
cooled that off. A little white, a little blue. Never any guarantee we'll get it in the first pass either. You know, we may have to come back and we, if we do, we do. We want to get it right. So I'm just jumping around on him. I may go with a bigger brush because so much of this is kind of a, a burnt sienna kind of color. So let's switch off to a little bigger brush. Here's a little darker. Just look for whatever shapes that you see that, like I said, there's kind of a diamond shape here in his forehead that I'm going for. And the value's a little darker there. It may be too rich in color. We'll see. Like I said, I'll be looking at back at the other photos too where, you know, they're better, and I can judge probably the color better too. Let's see. Hmm. It's amazing what light does to color, isn't it? Completely changes it. Yeah, we'll be jumping all around. See, I don't see so much of that in one of these photos. But you got to pick one and go with it. See, now we're working with a pretty large brush. He's white around his little muzzle. I was going to do something else. I was going to do maybe a city scene tonight, but I thought if I'm going to get this done, I need to do this. I used to do all my six by six on these panels, but I, I don't now. I do them on stretch canvas. These are a wonderful little panel, though. They're like quarter inch thick, and they've got a keyhole in the back. And uh, Switching back to the smaller brush.
definitely advantages to toning your canvases. I'll tell you, if you're not a person that does that, it makes your job easier. Try it if you haven't. You have to fight so hard, you know, to cover everything. I'm going to switch to some white, and my brush is dirty, so it uh, won't come off as pure white. This area on top of his nose is much too dark. One sec. Why it does that? Everything listens to you nowadays. Have you noticed that? Got to be careful what you say out loud, don't you? See, I'm not getting light enough. I'm trying to get lighter up here. Like I see it in the photo. All right, let's go back to your bigger brush again. We'll block in this ear. solvent again, see if I can get this to move a little bit better. bit of a cooler rim on this so which is kind of nice because it defines the ear even play with a little phthalo even that might be fun that's what I did here you know maybe just some touches of it we'll see if we like that might feel too blue as we 
move along. A little bit there too. Once that stuff's on your brush, you gotta wash it off, boy. I love it, it's a beautiful color, but it's a powerful color. All right, let's look at the shape of this nose. This is her baby. I think she said he's 12 the other day. Okay, I've gotten that, that up too high. I can see that. So let's push it back so we don't pollute anything here. That little scrapey tool is kind of handy, isn't it? Yeah, because he's got like a couple little rolls under his neck here and then another bit of white below that, so. And if I'm going to have heavier paint, um, I want to try to keep it up there on his face, so. Got a collar here. Just jumping back and forth from brush to brush. is shaped kind of like that. A little bit of that burnt sienna color over here. Again, it's like a puzzle. You know, you just keep filling in the holes. I need to stay home. I about got an accident yesterday before I left the town where we were painting. I was pulling out of the park and this guy come whipping in on my side of the road. He looked at me like whoops. And then today going to the community center, guy pulled right through a stop sign right in front of me of my car. He'd have hit me head on if I hadn't swerved around him. Like, geez, every time I leave the house, somebody's out to get me. That might be too light right there. All right, 
right back to the big brush back into the burnt sienna kind of mixture I may have to move this computer again Lighten it up just a little bit, put a little yellow, a little white, because this looks a little, it doesn't look much lighter, does it? But Okay, so we're trying to look at the shape of it. I just jump back and forth between my mixtures, you know, if I need to go a little darker, if I need to go a little lighter. I had a lady pick up a commission here recently and uh, I'm very reasonable. This size is $65 um, plus shipping if you're interested, but um, it's the second one she's bought for me and and then I got a check from her in the mail. She sent me a, a tip, <laughs> which was really sweet. She was just saying how what I do touches your heart and how much I appreciate it. And I am very affordable. I probably next year may consider finally a price increase I never have but I love what I do and uh, people really appreciate it and I love thinking that I'm part of people's Christmases you know I've had few people and one lady sent me a video. She, uh, I painted their dog that had passed away, and she gave it to her husband, and he just started bawling. The video didn't last long. She, of course, had to get off and go to him, but isn't that wonderful? I was so touched. So it feels really good. shape over here. There's a negative shape we've got to get in when we paint the background. This is where the dog tag goes right here. can't really see what's behind it there. Actually some pink. I don't know why that is. I don't think I'm going to worry about that. I'm just going to do the, the round one. And it's not a color. It's just silver. So I think we'll I don't know, we'll come up with something here. I think I'm going for a, a, a gray color to start with, kind of. I'm having trouble getting paint off this. Things dry up, you know. This brush may be too big, we'll see. It's kind of a ripply kind of shape to it. I think we'll explain that with a 
liner brush. This is a really ratty liner brush. one this is pretty bad sometimes that is nice for things when it gets kind of blown out like that it depends on what the, how important your edge is to you I think I told you that the workshop I just did she does not use a liner brush so um, of course she's an impressionist she doesn't ever want to get very tight with anything so um, I ordered a number one rosemary. I maybe I'll get away from a liner brush with most things, not necessarily my pet portraits. All right, I'm trying to see what I see here. Might be a couple rings. I can't tell. And then there's a ring. A ring coming down, thinking a ring around. Can't tell exactly what I'm seeing there. I've done all kinds of things over the years. One painting I did was so cute, this dog. Um, I painted him with a jar of peanut butter hanging out of his mouth. What dog wouldn't love that, right? To play with that. Uh. and to kind of explain the shape of that tag a little bit. We'll see if we like that as we go along. shapes and that shape's wrong. Alright, let's look at those eyes. See if I can find a. Hopefully, this other photo will be more helpful. Alright, we're going to mix up a warm color, some orange, and some transparent red oxide. Alright. 
go in here and place some warm color in the bottom of these eyes. I wish I had better photo here of the eyes. It's not great. So we'll do the best we can. It's a definite rim around his eyes, kind of like eyeliner. Let me get that tiny little brush out. Too much paint on there. Let me look at the old photo and see if he has. Gosh, I can't even tell if there's any catch lights in the eyes. But of course, we're going to put them there. Do the best we can, right? You know, and I, I wanted to surprise her, so I didn't want to ask for a photo, and so I had to look on Facebook and find the best ones I could come up with. Tiny adjustments. on here but I'd like to get it closer. Get my iPad back up here. Yeah, 
and I don't see because this is you know not a great image I don't see a highlight on the nose either but I'm going to put it there and a lot of times just a little bit under the nostril too you'll you'll see so sadly we're making some stuff up here because we don't have any choice of some darker hairs here. a little thick. Well, let's mix up something for the background. Okay, I'm looking here. As always, I'll have to uh, look at it, you know, when I think I'm done and uh, adjust it if it needs it. I'm just going to mix up a, a gray color, maybe leaning toward, maybe, let's see, he's pretty warm. So a cool color, you know, would be the opposite. Um, but I make, I'll think about it, I may go toward a green. I'm looking at this area down here and I'm going to muddy it up a little bit, even though he is nice and white, because uh, I don't want it to take away from his little face. of his nose is really light. So we'll put a little heavy paint there. That looks fun, doesn't it? And actually it's a little bit of a, a rim light right there. This may not be the best brush for that. Let's get our sloppy liner brush for that. a lot more whiskers but see we can't see them I see those few white ones there all right let's mix up something for the background again I want it to be a gray color and leaning cooler so um, 
take some blue. My paints have kind of dried up from being outside painting. Again, a gray. I'm searching for a gray, but I'm searching for it um, more toward the blue, a cooler gray. And we don't have that much of it showing, but uh, all right. Now I want to look carefully here. I might even get my little brush at this negative space outside of his ear. See if we can fix that. I just bought this brush and it's already all splayed out. I am hard on stuff. Okay, let me look about where that hits. Across the top of his nose. And I lost that little bit of uh, warm color right on the edge of him, which we might put back. I kind of like that right here. All right, let's go back to our bigger brush. You know, we may have to adjust some shapes once we even get the background in, like I'm looking at his ear. Thinking that should be a little wider. bit of this uh, medium in it, make it move around a little bit better. See if his background was toned, it would be a lot easier, but I didn't. So. Hey, like and subscribe if you haven't, please. Um, Channel's growing very slowly, but I appreciate those of you that check in on me every time. I enjoy doing it. Trying to bury the color just a little bit. We 
We're going to come back and pull a few hairs up here. hard to tell what the light source is like uh, this is a bright bit brighter here but yet he's got uh, a little like rim light on his ear over here so hard to say paint what we see right ear goes up there and I uh, it's cooler in the photo so I was trying to maybe I'll take a little bit of this blue and put it in there well, that didn't show up did it So for now, we're going to maybe call him done. I've got to um, look at him a little more. I wanted to pull some hairs down there, but I'm kind of polluting him, as you can see. So. Careful with the shape of the eyes. I feel as though the top of the head could be a little higher. We'll call it there, and uh, again, I'm going to look at it for a while and decide if it needs something else. I'm thinking I may uh, go ahead and sign it, though. Not sure I can do that. to it here. Yeah, 
see it's not really wanting to stick. Uh, look at it and decide if it's too messy or not. All right, thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe again if you haven't, and uh, you got a pretty good view of them there, so I don't think there's any reason to move you at all. Took about an hour. Again, I have to set it down and get away from it and really study the photo like I always do and, and decide, you know, if I need to make any changes, and of course I will. All right, thanks for joining me, and uh, watch for me next time, and you have a wonderful evening. Good night.